What is up, everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. And I am going to voice my opinion on something that is probably going to cost me some subscribers. And if this costs me every single subscriber I have, it would be worth this getting, or worth me getting this off my chest. So I do want to talk a little bit about this police brutality and all this, you know, inequality when it comes to uh, the justice system all the way down from the beat cop all the way up to the Supreme Court. Now, listen, first of all, before I get into this, you know, I'm 51 years old, some of you guys know, so older than a lot of people that are watching this video. I probably have the more most diverse group of friends of anybody I know whether that's racially you know income wise friends all the way from millionaires down to somebody that's having a hard time making their rent next month and sexual orientation all that stuff so you know my best friend of you know what am I, 51, so 45 years or something like that, white guy, one of my other good friends, black guy, law enforcement, my uncle, before he passed away, 30 years law enforcement, and I've never been one to uh, blame anybody else for what I'm dealing with. You know, just like this whole, you know, situation with truckers boycotting and doing all this kind of stuff. Listen, I grew up with a strong-ass father and strong-ass stepfather that instilled principles in me that will not allow me to be whining like these truck drivers are whining. If you want to say something about the situation or any situation, feel free to say it. You know, voice your opinion, but you know, so that's what I'm going to do here. Now, I'm doing this mainly because, you know, I'm on Facebook and I actually got so mad, so pissed off. And I'm talking about in prime forums, you know, just regular Facebook, all this kind of stuff where... You know, a lot of racist shit is getting said. And one thing I'm going to tell you is that uh, if anybody thinks that the treatment between, let's call it people of color, because, you know, Hispanics, they be taking a beating on this too. You know, anybody that's just non-white, if you think that everything is fair, I'm going to tell you, you are living in a dream world. And there are several instances that I'm going to mention later on in this video that happened to me. Now, fortunately, I'm from a very progressive state, Colorado. Not a lot of segregation, anything like that. Everybody kind of lives amongst everybody. You know, you don't really get that vibe like you get from a lot of other cities. So I'm fortunate to have grown up in that. But I've even dealt with, you know, some stuff in Colorado. Probably more than what I've actually noticed because I'm not out looking for it. So as far as these riots and stuff go, you know, any and think about this. Think about how many people have got killed within just the last year. But then you'll see like a white dude with a sword confronting a police officer, and the police officer sitting there trying to negotiate with him. And this happens on multiple occasions. So don't think that this is just an isolated incident. But that's really not the point. What the point I'm really trying to make, or one of the points I'm trying to make in this video is why people are rioting. No matter how black people try to protest, it's never right. Motherfuckers had a problem with Colin Kaepernick kneeling. To me personally, I could give a fuck about that. People are worried about a song more than they are somebody's life. So that's all I got to say about that. You know, you have, uh, no matter how black people try to do it, it's just not right. Now, do I agree with this rioting and stuff like that? No. But you know what? 
well, first of all, some of these videos I'm seeing, there's a large percentage of non-black people that are in there, you know, causing a lot of this damage. And you know what? That is what it is. But I'm going to explain why I believe that these riots are going on, and this is what my feelings are on it. Okay, so I'm 51 years old. You know, that's a long time to be able to understand your emotions and how you react to things and stuff like that. What happens is you have a large group of younger people, regardless of what race they are, that are looking at this situation and getting extremely upset and don't get me wrong, I'm upset too, and you could probably see it if you know me. But they may not have been through enough life experiences, been on earth long enough, whatever it is, to where they don't know how to... They don't know what to do with these feelings. So I would almost look at it almost like... You know, a baby will have a temper tantrum because they are feeling a certain type of way. And they don't know how to express their emotion so it it comes out in the form of a temper tantrum and that's pretty much what is going on here but this stuff just continues to keep happening and it's you know had they you know let's let's look at this had they charged this cop with murder right off the bat because if anybody's gonna say that you know I always see people like say well if you wouldn't have, you know they'll point at one situation if you if you wouldn't have resisted it wouldn't have happened or this or that whatever excuses people want to make you know what this is one case where I challenge anybody to tell me anything that this guy did to basically get killed so had they arrested this police officer right off the bat this would not be happening right now i don't give a fuck what police union is you know well sometimes it just there just needs to be common sense there doesn't need to be protocol there just needs to be common sense had that police officer been charged with murder and those other police officers stood around charged with whatever minor infractions you want to throw at them this stuff would not have been happening but this continues to happen over and over again where police are killing people and not getting charged with it now i don't think that every police officer is doing this just like i think it's just like everything you know you have a small percentage of the people that the larger percentage of the people is judged by. Now, my uncle was a police officer for over 30 years, San Diego Police Department and uh, St. Louis Police Department, and he will be the first one to tell you that there is racial bias in the police department. You know, there was a case back in the 80s where they had arrested this black guy. Wanted to go tune him up right quick. But this guy happened to know... This was in San Diego. and It was in the 80s sometime. This guy happened to know martial arts. So when they got this guy and started whooping him, he turned around, beat the cop's asses, stole the gun, I think shot the officer, didn't kill him, but there was a ride along. There was somebody, because San Diego used to do these little ride-alongs where you'd be able to ride along with them. Killed the person in the ride-along, and then uh, San Diego ended up paying a lawsuit on that because uh, I forgot what the lawsuit was about. But anyway, that's beside the point. So how has it affected me? You know, I've been pulled over so many times. You know, I get pulled over one night. I used to go to the gym back when I was in the gym all day every day three o'clock in the morning driving down the road and uh this was back if anybody wants to pull up this you know license plate thing or whatever readers whatever this was before these things so i'm driving and a cop comes behind me and he's just driving you know first he pulls up to me looks in the window then he falls back and he's driving 
follow me for about a mile and a half. Then he decides to pull me over. So pulls me over and starts asking me a bunch of questions which are not relevant to being pulled over. But uh, at the time, this was one of the first incidents that happened, so I really wasn't this aggravated at it. But the excuse that was used was that the plates didn't match the car. That was the excuse. Remember that for later. And uh, held me there for a while, asked me a bunch of questions. And like I said, I was mildly answering the questions. I really wasn't too pissed off at this at the time other than the fact that he wasn't telling me what I what I got pulled over for and I forget exactly what else happened but besides that but there was another time when yeah you know, I'm not even gonna go into all these different things I've, I've a lot of, I've, I've forgot a lot of these things a lot of the details that happened with this so for me to actually try to tell you these situations you know this far back will probably not show what I'm trying to have it show, but, you know, I've been pulled over, like I said, I've been pulled over numerous times for, you know, let me just talk about one. I'm pulled over numerous times. So I get pulled over one time. Now, keep in mind, and this wasn't, this one was not that long ago. So, There's a police officer driving in front of me, and he had been driving even with me for a while, but then he got in front of me, and at the time, I used to be using a lot of coupons in stores, and I happened to remember that I had this coupon at this store. But anyway, I turned into this store, and I guess the cop thought I was trying to avoid him. Uh, so I turn in there, I park, and then I start going through this little coupon book that I had. And realized I didn't have the coupon, so I just drove out. So the cop comes out, follows me for a while again, and then uh, pulls me over. And then starts, you know, this cop is probably in his 20s, maybe 30s. Old enough to be, there's a prime driver right now, at the most ghetto Petro in the nation, Atlanta. But, uh comes out asking me questions like I'm 14 years old now at this time you know this probably was you know this was not that long ago at the time this had happened enough to where I was pretty much knew if I was in the right and there was nothing they were going to be able to pin me on it I wasn't just going to sit here and take it and I was not the most pleasant person in the world to be talking to you know where are you going I'm a grown-ass man why do you need to know then he's you know it just it was very confrontational and it was like that because I was tired of this happening. So, you know what? What happened to me is beyond the point. The point is something needs to change with all of this stuff. And the first thing that needs to change, you know what? My best friend and maybe it's because we grew up together and there were certain times when we were together and got treated different, whether it was by just, you know, I mean, things have changed over the years. Back in the 70s, it was a little bit different, but there was a, there was a time when even at a, you know, because we wanted to be in Boy Scouts, not not Boy Boy Scouts, you know, because I'm grown, I ain't going to be all 12th grade Boy Scouts and shit, but, you know, I was like Cub Scouts, like nine years old, something like that, and, uh, it was obviously, you know, apparent that I was being treated differently just because of my race. So, uh, you know, I talked to him about certain things like this when it comes up, and he's at least smart enough to acknowledge that there is a difference in that. The problem with a lot of people is they sit here and try to say that everything is equal and that is a damn lie. What I won't have that do is cripple me. You know, I will never blame my success or failures. You know, you have a lot of these people out here that are, you know, whatever president you like, don't like, whatever, but blaming their 
personal lives or how much money they make or whatever or their position in life based on who's the president or they were you know listen we could get into the financial stuff that's been holding black people back for years and years we're talking about transitional wealth that uh, hasn't been passed down based on laws that came out long before i was even born this still trickling down but one thing i've never done or will never do is allow that any of that to uh stop me from where i'm gonna be and if i get you know if I get where I'm going, I got there on my own. I'm not giving credit to no president. I'm not giving credit to uh, anybody other than me, my wife, or anybody else that helps me get where I'm going. But, uh, you know, you see all these people getting upset because they can't wear a face mask. Now, can you imagine if a whole group of black people went to City Hall or wherever the fuck they went with a bunch of guns? I don't know what it is about white people whenever they want to protest they always gotta walk around with some fucking guns like somebody's gonna like do something or whatever the situation can you imagine that can you imagine black people even doing that you know somebody did a funny thing or did some funny post where they're talking about if you want the gun laws to change you know have every black person in the country get get a gun permit and then things will change or whatever and you know what Maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't, but the point, it made a very good point. I'm just tired of all this shit that's going on, and whether anybody wants to believe it or not, people have been a little bit more free to talk, you know. One thing I can tell you, you know, I was talking about the temper tantrums earlier. One thing I can tell you is that People have been running their mouth a little bit more freely these last three and a half years than they did before that. And one thing I could say about that is, you know, I'm, I've, I've mellowed out a lot over the last, you know, pr primarily probably started mellowing out about 15 years ago and I'm pretty mellow now. It takes a lot for me to really get kind of, you know, really get in that in that mode but had today's climate happen when I was 35 you know let's say 20 to 35 there would have been a lot more confrontations and a lot of people a lot more people getting their mouth punched because I didn't play that back then and I just see a lot of people getting a little too casual with the words that they use and stuff like that uh, a little more recently so I, I don't know hopefully this in a way gives some people a little bit more insight as to why there is rioting and able to see the viewpoint of somebody that's not somebody that is always looking for racism being the problem or blaming stuff on anything. And somebody that's is, I don't know, somebody that is as much as how I am that is still upset about this situation you take somebody like me and make me this upset about a situation that's going on then then there's a real problem and this has been something that's been boiling you know for a while obviously this is you know it's just coming to kind of a head right now you know where I came from this was not something that was something that happened every day but this was the whole reason that whole Rodney King situation started in LA was because all that stuff had been going on for years and years before that that just happened to be the one time somebody had a camera so this is not something that's new 
and for me to get upset about it like I said hopefully this lets anybody that is questioning somebody's anger understand that it's not just those guys that are feeling this anger Anyway, not sure if I got my point across all that well or not, but like I always say, it is what it is. And hopefully this puts things in perspective for, and I'm going to say this and I'm going to say it and probably lose some more people over this. Hopefully this puts things in perspective for all these people whining over some dumb ass shit in the trucking industry. My God, I have never seen a bigger group of babies in my life. That's a whole nother video. While I'm in, while I'm in this mood, maybe I'll do the video on my whole little feelings about this whole broker disclosure situation uh, while I'm at it. But you know what? Let me just bite off what I can chew right now and maybe I'll get to that. Because I'm in one of those moods where I do not mind losing everything that... Where I don't mind losing people over some opinions. Anyway. For those of you guys that still rock with me, good to go. I appreciate it. For those of you that, for those of you that don't, it is what it is. <laughs>